Uh, I wanted to do a devlog video about the game I'm working on. About a month ago, I uh, got into uh, game development. I knew nothing about game development before that. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials from uh, channels like Jades on Women, Awesome Toots, Brackies, and I learned a lot from them for a short amount of time, so I really recommend anyone who wants to get involved with game development to watch some of the content they do, because it helps a lot. So, I was watching one of Jason Women's tutorial how to make a 2D game, and he is really going step by step in codes and in Unity engine and it was really for dummies so it was perfect for me and i i managed to make a game just like his he was working on a game that was similar to angry birds with the same mechanic drag and release and the object will fly away so i did that but in the middle of process i start changing stuff I made my own pigeon as a character and I really didn't like the dragon release mechanics. I wanted my game to be a little more skill based rage game with uh, really hard controls. So at first I made it so when you click somewhere the object will move in the direction of the click. And since I had no idea how to, how to do that, I googled a lot. I searched on every single forum and somehow I made it work. And later on I decided to make it a little more skill based. So then I added this object here and it rotates around our character. And when you click your character will move in the direction where this object was when you clicked. So this will rotate and if you click when it is here, the object will move this way. And I really liked it. So next thing I did was I froze the object on every collision with any other object. So it can stick to walls. Basically, if I collide it with here, it will stay there. Uh, I did that by freezing its X and Y coordinate and it made an illusion of sticking to walls. So when I managed to do that, to make that mechanics work, I had a pretty clear idea where the game is headed. So the only thing that was left to do is create a map and I found these sprites on open game art and I implemented them and started building a level. The design is pretty simple, as you can see it. I just literally stacked object one to another and I created a huge level. And the object of the, of the game is to get to the end of the map, which is this blue bird and I created some ending animation on trigger and also I created these moving platforms and it's really hard to get on them and the other thing I did is I created spikes and when you collide with spikes you die so at this point the game was insanely hard it took me a lot of time to get to the half of it and i couldn't get more so i've added the undo button and the save button undo button will reset your position to the position where you were before you made your last jump and the save button will save your current progress so when you reload it will reset to that position and uh, not to make it too easy and to make it possible for me to eat something, I've added ads to the save button and undo, so 
you will have to watch a 30 second ad if you want to save or undo your last move. My code is super messy. When I try to change something, it takes me forever. But since this is my first time to do anything like this and it works, I am super proud of this. I really can't believe I managed to make it work. It took me forever to write this. So at this point, the game looks like this. You move in the direction where this little object is when you click. And you have to pass a lot of challenges. And the controls are really hard. And one single mistake will lead to a, a lot of decrease of your progress. So that is where the undo button will come in handy. You can click it, so it will ask you to watch add, and it will reset your position to the previous one. I still have main menu design to do and some other issues to fix, but hopefully soon I will be able to upload it to Android Play Store. It's so full of bugs and exploitable stuff that I'm trying to fix. And I'm managing to do some of it, but even I can't find all of them. Uh, I would really like if you would give me some feedback or if you would like to participate in this, I can send you the APK file of the game so you can test it and send me your opinions. It would really mean a lot to me. Also, if you have any ideas about the game mechanics, you can tell me in the comments and I will try to implement it. This is my first project ever and my first devlog video ever. I don't really know what I'm doing, as you can probably tell already. And since I'm learning from scratch and researching everything, I was thinking to upload anything new I learned and share it with you so we can learn Unity together. I know a lot of videos like that uh, and they help me a lot and I would really like to try it. So you can give me your opinions in the comments, tell me what you like or dislike about this game and I will update you whenever it is up on Play Store so you can try it. Also, I still have no name for the game so all the ideas are appreciated. See ya.